All right, physics, here we go. Um, I know that this is obviously like a broken week and the things are odd right now, right? Um, perhaps regressing a little bit, however. Oh, oops, sorry, things are breaking. Um, the only thing that we can do is whatever we can do. Um, and right now, the best thing to do is kind of try to keep doing what I wanted to do. Um, hopefully everybody took the quiz, was able to finish the quiz, right? I know that group one, where it was a, a timing issue, uh, I am not always the best at timing out how long these quizzes take. I will do better. That is all that I can tell you. Um... I hope that everyone was able to finish what they needed to finish. Um, I will have those graded as soon as I can. Unfortunately, I left your quizzes at school because I did not anticipate this, and I try not to bring work home with me as much as possible. Um, that's a personal thing. Like I just, I just try not to bring too many things home with me. Um, but that obviously bit me a little bit here. I will do my best. Um, when we get back to grade those very quickly. Uh, in the meantime, I'll grade what you have and I'll note it, right? I'll actually write that, write that stuff down and I'll combine it with um, what you had on paper from before. Group two, uh, brothers, obviously yours are all done and any fully remote students, obviously yours are all done. So your grades will be up and appropriate. Now, after we finished that quiz, what I wanted to get into was a brand new topic. Right? We had been talking about kind of motion in one dimension, motion in two dimensions, projectiles, free fall. And now we can start getting into some more slightly interesting things. Right? The next guy, the next topic that I want to talk about is all derived from this one dude. And I don't know why that is, is like that. I think I need this one. Sir Isaac Newton. Right? Uh, the first thing that you probably think of when you think of Newton is the apple, right? Newton is, is the physicist who was, like, sitting under a tree. He got bonked in the head by an apple, and he was like, yo, gravity is a thing. Um, spoilers, gravity had always been a thing. Newton was one of the first to unify it with other concepts. That was, that was one of his big things. Um, now, Newton did a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, specifically, he had these uh, laws of motion. He had these things that as he was observing how stuff happens and how the world around him interacted with, with how objects in the world around him interacted with other objects, he found that some things were just consistently true. All right? So Newton had three laws of motion, and you're actually reasonably familiar with at least two of them possibly all three. Maybe not like the math for all of them, but you're familiar, familiar with the concepts. All right. Newton's first law of motion is something that gets used in commercials quite a bit. An object in motion stays in motion or an object at rest. Oh my gosh. Writing is hard, guys. An object at rest stays at rest. Oh my gosh. So it could be either of those, right? An object in motion stays in motion, an object at rest stays at rest. Unless acted on by an outside or unbalanced force. Right. And we'll, we'll, I'll do a definition of force in, uh, in just a moment. But I just want to get this, right? An object in motion stays at motion, an object at rest stays at rest, unless it's acted upon by something outside, by an outside or an unbalanced force. If you have stuff that's just sitting there, it's going to just sit there. If you have things that are moving, it's going to continue to move, unless something else causes it to not do that anymore. 
generally that's true that's something that he found and something that we attribute to newton newton's second law is that the force on an object is proportional to its mass and acceleration. Or in other words, force equals mass times acceleration. It's a formula. His second law is a formula. It says that the force acting on, on an object is equal to the mass of the object times its acceleration. All right, so there's a, there's a mathematical definition for a force. If you want like a, a, a layman's definition or a simpler definition, right? A force is any push or pull that acts on an object. So by pushing an object or pulling an object, you are applying a force to it and hoping to accelerate it. Whether that means to start it moving or to stop it moving. Newton's third law is again something that you should be familiar with. For every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So if you want to push something obviously it pushes back on your hands Right? Newton's third law is why it hurts to punch the wall. When you punch the wall, the, punch it, the wall punches back just as hard. The difference is you can feel pain and the wall cannot. But for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. These three laws are not only laws of motion, but they are laws essential to motion. If you want to be able to move, these things have to be true. If these were not true, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't observe what we observe now. We wouldn't know what we know now works. All right. Now this is where we're going to start. All right. We're going to start just with these basics, with knowing object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by some outside unbalanced force. We'll start with F equals MA, which is that force equals the mass of an object times its acceleration. And we're going to start with every action has an equal and opposite reaction. All right. Now, also from F equals MA, right? Force is measured in Newtons, which is also N. All right, so we measure like mass in kilograms. Velocity is meters per second. Distance is meters, right? Force is measured in Newtons, all right? Now, there will be uh, between five and seven questions that are going to be attached to an assignment that's on my CBA. You can look for it now. It's going to be just based on this stuff here, right? Might be ten questions. Ten. It's going to be ten questions. Ten questions based on this stuff here. Uh, actually, a combination of multiple choice and short answer. Just basics. Things that you can work your way through, even without me, I swear, okay? Do your best on them. If it turns out that you can't work your way through them without me, it's not a big deal. Do your best on them. Give them a shot. Try the questions. Submit your answers online. And I will go over them the next time I see you, whether that is here on the interwebs or in person at school. All right? But until then, physics, take care of yourselves. Stay sane. Uh, be safe. And uh, I hope to see you very soon. Take care.